What up? Testing up some uh, CC3D. Some silk. Gonna see. Uh, will it print? LOL. So far, it's printing. This looks pretty good. Got my new bed installed. Bed cover. Courtesy of the longer uh, boys. They have been nice enough to send me two brand new bed covers. So that's pretty sweet. So I got my back up. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And they have also sent me a crap ton of gray filament. Where's the other one? Right here. Oh my gosh, so much filament. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta use all this up now. That's fun. <laughs> Thanks, Longer. I appreciate your gray filament. <laughs> oh my god, break the VR headset. Sheesh. Now it's on. Turned out pretty good. There's the three little rings. All my prints were getting that, but uh, they no longer get that anymore. You know, and these are all printed like sideways, so yeah. No more of that. If I can get it to focus. There we go. So yeah, got a little bit of a brim. Pull some of that crap off. Looks great. Sweet. Hey guys, sorry it's been so long. Just uh, posting an update video. Um, how to get really great prints out of your longer LK1. So tip number one is your belts. Your belts need to be really tight. And I've actually bought custom belts here. You see they're like lined so they don't stretch as much as the original belts. And also got this belt tensioner, it works amazing, comes with this little guy, also amazing, uh, has improved my prints, just doing that a ton. Uh, replaced this belt, I didn't get a tensioner for this side, but I've just been using the screwdriver trick. Stick a screwdriver in there, bend it, tighten it, yeah. Um, and as far as like the Z-axis, I used to have these three little rings at the bottom of like every print it was happening after I used my printer for a couple hundred hours um, but if you search up on YouTube uh, the ball bearing trick for your uh, 3d printer uh, there's a handy guy I forget his name but um, uh, where is it right down here um, under your z-axis where your little connector is can I get a good picture of that um, but whatever, where your Z-Rod goes into the motor, you have that little coupler. So what you'll do is you, you'll pull your, your Z-Rod out and then you'll drop a ball bearing down in there and it won't go to the motor and then um, your Z-Rod will rest on top of that. And that got rid of the little rings I was getting at the very bottom of my prints. I don't know if my Z-Rod was messed up or whatever, but haven't got any of that. And, uh, as you can see, my prints are very, very smooth.
Uh, also printing at a 1.5 layer height. Come on, focus. So yeah, getting a couple of lines, but pretty darn good. <clears throat> and then I've been printing up these daggers just because I love Skyrim, obviously. Uh, they are turning out amazing. Oh, uh, freaking amazing. Look at that tip. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's been used. And then I had to figure out how to do the handle the right way with the right wrap. <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. So I got like two different ones. Uh, I got these on eBay. If you just search uh, Skyrim Steel Dagger on eBay, you can find them. Uh, I got them posted for like 25 bucks. So, if you want one, they're pretty darn cool. Oh, ho, ho. I love it. Yeah. Alright, um, so those are my tips. Anyways, for um, getting better prints. Hopefully that helps. Remember, belts need to be tight. Bring them tight. I mean, you're gonna eat, there's a too tight point, I think, that you can make happen. But uh, it's pretty hard to nail, and you'll know if you're getting it too tight or not pretty sure but yeah they need to be really tight uh, I also put these little heat sinks on my motors you know just to increase longevity they were like five bucks whatever but uh, look for the ball bearing trick I explained how to do that belts tight um, you should be good to go after that that seemed to have fixed um, pretty much all my problems so um, all right have a good one bye